max population right there. Um, I mean, that's just that goes. That wasn't the only thing that they can help you. Mother and child. Which, uh, you love for your child. Your child. She's not even necessarily. I don't approve of that. They're, they're not even necessarily going in there for an abortion. Like that. That much it must be. You know, well, then no harm done. Well, I mean, I. I, I I don't understand why they do that. I mean, that, that's just what Antifa does. Well, because uh, there is a life at stake. Well, they could be going in there for, like, you know, a condom or something. And then, uh, you know, well, well, then I mean, it's, it's, it's not a big deal. That's, that why, that's, why, that's why I'm 50-50 on it. You know, it's, it's, or maybe you're saying, seven. I got evidence. Okay, so if there were, no, if there were adults don't being killed someplace, we everybody would say that we're right to harangue. Right, but you don't know that, you don't know, again, you don't necessarily know they're going in there specifically to get an abortion. Right, you know what I mean? but this is the place where abortions are going out. So right. it's assumable that right, but, half or more Right, than McDonald's is the place where, the, the McDonald's is the place where you get Big Macs, but not everybody going to McDonald's is getting a Big Mac. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, they might, be, might be getting a shamrock shake. You understand the analogy? You know I think ninety percent of their income is, is from abortions. This place? Yeah, ninety percent okay. is from abortions. So your chances are high that you know, in assuming that they're getting an abortion, but you know, and I, I don't. I mean, like, I don't think most people are going to be persuaded by that anyway. You know what I mean? Like, half the people that go into this place come out, don't come out alive. That's, that's their percentage of the cure. Issue. It's supposed to be a, a clinic. It's supposed to make people better, not kill them. Right. I want to comment on uh, what you said about the uh, that you don't think that our method would be persuasive of uh, talking to them. Uh, the like that's half the reason I hate Antifa well, is because they get people's is, faces. You know. Well, until uh, you can come up with a better method, we're doing the right thing by doing this. Uh, There's a more effective method if you can come up with one. Because what? Well, Get, getting uh, feminists uh, out of educational spaces, I, see, I would say, would be number one. I mean, uh, persuading people that hardcore leftist ideas are just really nihilistic, really narcissistic, degenerate. You know what I mean? That type of thing. I think that would be a more intellectual way of doing it. Um, because that, again, that breeds a sort of like selfishness and narcissist, narcissism that we see in a lot of young, young ladies who don't really understand the consequences of their actions. They've never really, they've never really been told that there are adult consequences to actions. Yeah. That type of thing. But while that's being done by some folks, other folks should be doing this, in my opinion. Okay. Fair enough. They get filled in by all the police. Yeah, this, is always, this is always an interesting scene, though. It's very fascinating. The, the whole introduction of the, the funded street armies, like these, Actually, these thugs. I, I, I find, this, the, find that to be yeah, one of the most fascinating things. You mean the Antifa? Right, BLM or whatever you want to call it. BLM? Actually, no. BLM. Because yeah. um, that's I've totally different than Antifa. Really like I think there's some crossover. Um, Black Lives Matter, I think, is mostly black people. They do their own demonstrations where people, I think, is primarily white, white people and primarily just going to confront them. I think they're, I think they're, uh, you know, BLM allies. They're probably white allies. You know, all the churches don't want to come together, but they're going to be separated until I get enough evidence and then I go to the people's guy. Well, here's the evidence. King no shit. There was another guy out here saying that God was going to come slay the wicked with a flaming sword. That was kind of well, interesting. Well, he, he's against yeah. us. He's pro-abortion. Uh, like always? Like no matter what? If the woman wants I, I, I prove that we do, in fact, reincarnate. That's, that that's, that's not real. I mean... <laughs> okay, well... I mean, it's... Listen, listen to him. That's, that's you see what listen. I just said? I prove, but then you immediately go, no, that's not real. You see, you're automatic judgment. You made a claim. Okay, well, you made a claim. Um, it's not necessarily true. Very unlikely true. <laughs> it's either true or it's not. It's very unlikely that it's true. No, it's, it's like not. astronomically <laughs> unlikely. <laughs> So, so reincarnation, like abortion is okay, and then you can reincarnate. No, there, there's no soul inside the uh, inside the body until uh, until it's ready to be born. Okay. Um, not even a third trimester fetus. Like well, fetus is Latin for baby, by the way. It's not you know it's not a separate thing. It's 
Like it is a baby, he pretty much. He remembers going, picking the body to go into as his mother was going to give birth. Like he remembers. Hey guys, going we I'm not being way alive before birth. No shit. That's pretty, um, that's intense power right there. And my friend John Deersine just abused his ass, John Deersine. Sorry? And my friend John, the ordained Deersine, lives in Australia, just as Jesus has John Deersine. My parents are on Smoko. My parents in Australia. Parents, my parents being a Mary and a Joseph, my right. great grandfather being baptized by name one of three wives, and by name three wives, while they performed me, etc. Uh, he remembers life before birth uh, in the spirit plane and visiting his mom and being told by the story, by the way, it's too soon to try to read Friday now, come back later. So if, if you remember, pregnant. if you remember you were sentient before life, then why are you... Thank you. Um, if you can remember life before your life, why are you pro-abortion then? I don't understand. It seems like a... It seems like Especially, a, we don't reincarnate until... Uh, until the... Uh, yeah, take care. We don't reincarnate until, uh, until it's time to be born. And uh, life does not begin at the moment of conception. What they're doing is to harass you, I'm in here. Trying to, uh, trying to persuade them that what they're doing is evil when it's not. I think in, in some cases it's pretty morally repugnant. I, I don't really put it on the same level as murder. Murder is a specific, specific uh, category of crime. But uh, it's certainly not, <laughs> it's certainly selfish, it's certainly narcissistic, it's certainly no, it's irresponsible, not. it's certainly, uh, no, it's no, me, 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 yeah it is, dude. It's, it's eschewing the responsibility. What? You can look this guy up on the internet. Uh, is, uh, can I tell him about the case? When I laced a little bit of marijuana, for which there was... Yeah, a he was institutionalized Jesus. in a mental institution for 40 days. Exactly, just as Jesus wandered the wilderness for exactly 40 days in accordance to Luke 401 to Luke 420. And I'm under Luke 421, it states that the scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. What hearing? A court hearing. The very following day, I had my court hearing on June the 7th, 2012. And six years to the day later on, Officer Irvine became Yikes, the sixty second. Why is okay. she doing that? I don't well, I don't because the murder is going on or just did going on. It, Very quickly, apparently. I don't know how quick that shit is, but <laughs> I mean I think that uh, maybe she's getting an ultrasound and deciding, you know. And by the way, the only to... reason that I was there in the first place was because the cops were unsure whether you know, the cops mistook what I had said. About that Pete? me potentially wanting to just reincarnate and proving that we knew in fact reincarnate, they mistook it as me somehow saying that I wanted to kill myself when I never did. That's why I was brought over in the first place. And secondly, I agreed to voluntarily stay there so that the district attorney would lower the so called felony down to a, uh, a misdemeanor, even though factually I had told them all that the letter was laced with a non-harmful marijuana strain of anthrax and that the board had two meanings to it. Factually. So I was misjudged. I told the lawyers and I told everybody around me that it was factually marijuana the whole time. What was marijuana exactly? You had the letter that was laced to He the scared island. them saying he called in and said I dropped the letter laced with anthrax into such and such and mailbox. In the email, and, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and in the, I looked that up, there's I didn't find any strain of marijuana called anthrax. There is a strain of marijuana called anthrax. Just Google marijuana anthrax, you'll see it from right up. I mean I I would buy that. There's like green crack. By the way, get stop smoking weed. It's shitty for your brain, man. It's really shit. Yeah, it is, dude. Come on. I smoke pounds of weed. It's really fucking bad for you. It, it fucks with your mood. You know, it makes you more paranoid. It really does. Yeah. I mean, would you would you not disagree with that? I don't know. Just, I mean, I. I think I've shifted on the whole abortion question lately, though. I came a little bit more 50-50 on it ever since. What is this? I'm doing it again. Why are they chasing them out of the clinic? I don't understand this tactic. Why that? Why that tactic? Well, I mean, the, like haranguing them while going into the clinic is weird enough, but then as they're leaving, 
Well, it's not weird because murder. <laughs> murder is a specific category of crime. I mean, it's not you know. It's killing your baby. It's not you know. Okay. The moral pendulum does not swing according to human belief. Just is. Right, no, but murder murder is a, spe I'm trying to say murder is a specific, like, legal classification of a crime. It's not murder yet, right? So, technically, in the email that was sent, I mentioned 420 eight times, the word pop three times, but the eight and three together, you get my birthday, 1983. It even said in the email, there's more expensive to keep in jail, though I certainly not. Now, if you don't pay attention to the words of mine, you just cling on to one board and one board and you can see how you can misjudge somebody and not weighing all the evidence. But you were mad about the unemployment office not giving you what you wanted, so you sent them the letter with the hand I did not. I was not mad at them. What had happened was a little, before, a little while before that, a flash of a blue flash of off the nonsense space uh, it appeared on the wall of, the, of my apartment there in apartment 612 and a cross that physically was not there before was imprinted where the door handle, the con in in the concave door handle meets the wall, smooth door handle meets the wall, for which I couldn't explain where the cross could have been possibly made from, other than it being made from a friend of higher dimension, bringing that cross into the, into the wall. And I have been shown uh, plenty of evidence in my life experience that there is indeed a shared and interconnected consciousness. I put two and two together about how all my family's names line up right there in the Bible. And my recollection of me being ray of light before birth. Uh, and how the child of Turan is right there in time, 1323, in with 1323 BC, 2222. That was indeed the Dark God Man. So, I created a misjudgment, not really a misjudgment, based on anthrax that had been mislabeled as having come from my reincarnation town of Ames, Iowa. While there's also a band called Anthrax that uh, is a metallic band, just as there is a non strain of marijuana called Anthrax, and at least flooded with marijuana. I even stated again and again and again, made references to marijuana, marijuana, marijuana. But how known harmful it is, indeed, it's not legal in so many other states, is it not? It should be legal, but it's not. The panacea for the masses that, you, that many, many people think it is, it's, it's got unhealthy. It's got unhealthy characteristics if you're smoking it, for sure. You know, or even eating too many edibles, or vaping, you know, all of that can have mental effects, especially if you have a predisposition to like, you know, schizophrenia. So um, what I contend is that your mental body is separate from your spiritual body, is separate from your soul, is separate from your physical body, is separate from your emotional body. There's a lot of bodies you got there. Yeah, well, this is absolutely true though. Okay. For, interesting. for if your mind is solely contained in your brain, then upon death, as a spirit, you would be a dumb entity, would you not? You would cease being an entity, in my opinion. Isn't this one of the best footages you've ever gotten out there? I don't know. Keep talking to him and never... I, I, I'm trying to know. I, I kind of wish, well, I, it's kind of morbid, but I do kind of wish the Antifa dudes were here, because those guys need to be exposed. Am I in any way acted? like a schizophrenic or somebody who's lost their mind other than somebody who's trying to challenge your mind. There's a difference. You factually, factually, that was 40 days exactly in accordance to Luke 401 through Luke 420. In the email, I made many references in allegorical senses that line up perfectly to that part of scripture. For exactly 40 days, I was there just as Jesus depicted one in a white gown like he broke out of a mental ward. 
And in accordance to 421, I had my initial court hearing, and six years to the day afterwards, Officer Irvine became the sixth second in the watchers of the tomb of Tutank. Ah, man, it's known as KB-62. And 49 days thereafter, just as there were 49 words in the Lord's Prayer, Officer Mikowski became the 63rd in the watch of the 50th ward, as there are the 50 United States and these United States being Amen. Ah, just said after every prayer. Tutank, Amen. Ah, T.U.T. is the uh, is the son of God being eclipsed by a moon forming the shape of a U surrounded by two crosses as in a crucifixion scene. The Ankh is the Egyptian symbol of life that looks just like the symbol of death and, uh, of the cross but with the return symbol on top. Didn't those guys like sacrifice and then Amen. I don't know man. Tut Ankh. What happened? Man. There was and a cross. The name Ankh a moon that is the Egyptian symbol of life, and then the scenes as in the, you know. The crowd dispersed a little bit. One. Yeah, you too, bro. Um, All right, man, I'm going to try to get a bite to eat, man. Uh, well, no, we were told, that's not unless you be judged, and I was misjudged back in 2012, the Mayan calendar year, when I was age 28. From the anthrax weed thing, or the reincarnation of the Iowa, I, I didn't quite get the entirety of the story, but I think I got the gist. Why people have asked me to write it down. You should, you know, somebody should write a freaking book, that's for sure. A lot of people have asked me to write the book down. Somebody so should definitely, you know, somebody should definitely write a book. True because, <laughs> you know, I fulfilled Revelation 2 and 7 of the Bible back on January the 2nd of 2009, right after Officer Stone by name. Or by it states right there on the, uh, on the Revelation 2 and 7, it talks about the white stone. Wow, the crowd really dispersed. Did we disperse the crowd here? Wowzers. Yikes. Yeah, and that's the trouble about being misjudged. If people don't listen to the story, and they just look up 2012, and they go, oh my god, they're, they're anthrax, and they don't put two and two together, then that's where it... They fall into that trap of judge not less to be judged. I mean, I could I could see a misunderstanding taking place, but uh, you know and how it actually proved. <laughs> but at the same time, look for one to look for twenty one. I got to get a bite to eat, man. You uh, take care of yourself, okay? And I might have recurrent accidents that pointed exactly to the date of Officer Rittner's in the watch. Okay. Officer Rittner, I'll look that up. I, with yeah, one yeah, traffic yeah. ticket pointing exactly to his uh, to his uh, date, along with uh, things purchased for Revolution two hundred seventeen dollars after taxes, exactly at Wrigley Field, just in the movie Back to the Future, had Wrigley Field involved, or by they were supposed to win in twenty fifteen, but they won in twenty sixteen, uh, or by uh, bat number seventeen that I purchased over there, uh, represents the seventeen years of his uh, service. And uh, jersey number 70 represents the Memorial Squad number 70 for which sat uh, out of his uh, outside uh, during his end of watch. <sighs> so, I don't understand this tactic that they do. Walking after people? Right, walking like... It's harassing them. Right, it definitely is. Uh, and it's, it's, to put it in Pokemon terms, it's not very effective. I don't know if you ever played Pokemon. Good thing. It's not very effective. You want super effective. What's super effective is the evidence that, uh, that we're working on providing to everybody right now that shows you that we do in fact reincarnate, that life does not begin at the moment of conception, that you guys are doing. I think science disagrees with you though, doesn't it? No, I have no? science on my side. I okay. have evidence. Okay. I mean, I think the unique DNA profile is wiped out and when an abortion takes place, I mean, that that is a life, it's just, you know. No, it's a group of cells, right? I mean, they've just redefined it, right? No, to it shirk, shirk responsibility. We live in a very gynocentric society where women are allowed to shirk their responsibilities in a lot of ways. Maybe you've heard it referred to as the pussy pass. You know, like women can go into a bar and swing on a dude and so get away I, with it. What, what, I mean, what, what, what the absolute truth is is that you have the you have the absolute right to reincarnate as a black person, as a white person, as a Chinese person, as a man or woman, or as any other species as you so. Wish. You definitely because have a right is, to do that. You have the ability that, to do that, that, that though. Is, that is inherent within 
your, 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 your god self pain. You do have a right to do that, but do you have the ability to do that? That I would call That's into question. That's what I'm talking about. You have the ability to do that. <laughs> that is your god-given right to do such. Okay. Because it, you have that ability to reincarnate as a different skin color. To okay. reincarnate into a different... Uh, into well, a different I, could go tan I could go tanning this spring and summer. Uh, and, you know, I get a little bit olive skinned if I try. Okay, I can get a little... What you're doing is playing your, you, you're playing the intellectual reward game and... and, and, <laughs> and, 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 and Intellectual war game. Yeah, what you're doing right Intellectual. Now, you're saying, well, I could just simply tan. That means I'm a different color. No, I don't believe I'm that. I mean, about I don't absolute believe. Absolute genetic di differences right here, where you are. Where, where, so I can change my genetics more, by what just I'm will. Is that you are more than the physical, uh, 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 your, your physicality. That is that you do live from beyond, uh, beyond the grave, and that you do in fact reincarnate. And that you're doing, in fact, reincarnate to whatever race or sex that you want. That is, as a man right now, you can reincarnate later on as a woman. So do you believe in, like, the transgender situation? Like, that whole narrative? You have the absolute right to, uh, to change your physical being if you're not happy with it afterwards. Sure, yeah. And what I would recommend is that uh, if you find yourself wanting to be a woman when you're a man, then perhaps in your next lifetime you should take that as a lesson that you should that you should be a little bit more patient and wait for a body, uh, for a female body to come about for you to reincarnate to. But life does not begin at conception. What you, what these guys are doing is morally wrong because they're not weighing all the evidence, whether or not they've been shown at all or whatnot, but. Actually, they are being wrong right now by telling women that they are somehow sinners for choosing what to do over their own bodies when factually there is no soul within that fetus until reincarnation. <laughs> well, the soul has not factually been proven to exist at all anyway. Yes. It's an I, opinion. Yes, it has been. It's an opinion. It is not a matter of opinion. I was just showing you guys evidence. You were making a lot of claims. It's not I'm really not evidence. Showing, I'm not making claims. I'm actually <laughs> providing evidence for which you guys aren't looking this at. This is interesting. So this is the religious, the religious it's pro. Not religious. The, it's completely scientific. It's the religious pro-abortion argument. This is the, something I've no, not seen yet. No, this is the scientific evidence that we in fact reincarnate much later on. Look, I mean, in the extreme cases of rape, incest, she's gonna die if she delivers it, etc. She has, I think she does have the right to do it, but those are extreme cases, you know? Why do the rest of the abortions have to happen? You know? Because they're not, Because those are just them being sluts, you know what I mean? That's no, just them being irresponsible, so like, harpies, isn't it? No. It's, it's them destroying the, the very idea of the family, you know? It's, it's breaking happened. down the family. What, what, what's actually more destructive to the idea of family is charging a financial interest. Interest? I would say, yeah. Finan greater than zero percent. Financial, financial conflict, yeah, that does destroy the family. I would, I would agree with that. Quantitative easing, I mean, that's a whole, that's a whole inflation, the Federal Reserve, that's all true. Um, and uh, you're right, that does, that does break up the family, definitely. Or make it um, severely more difficult to maintain a family. So. So under that context, don't you think women should then have the right to choose when they're financially stable enough to have kids? No, I mean, like. What if somebody, you know, gets pregnant and then all of a sudden gets fired? You know? Maybe then that might not be a good time to bring it into life. You know, it really should just be up to the person who is deciding whether or not to give life. I understand that, but, you know, I understand that, but there is adoption. I'm sure that, you know, these guys are a little nutty, but they probably have resources they can show you for adoption. Not everybody should be forced into having to give up the, uh, being able to make a kid and then give it up to somebody else. But it's like, that's a kid. You, you've acknowledged that it's a kid, right? Once you've given birth to it. <laughs> Do you know how it's painful like... that is for somebody? To have to give birth to somebody and then give it up to somebody else. It, it's a kid, dude. It's a. It's a. Yes. Once it's re, once once it's actually born. Not then a, you're talking Not about in the an not in the kid. second or third trimester. No. Nope. Not at all. Okay. Well, I would disagree with you. Well, hey, at least. It's, but but. Well, but I, but I, I, I would I've not got, be fucking. I would not I, be I, fucking I've with got, people. I, I've got evidence of people speaking from beyond the grave. I've also have the ascended masters 
along with the archangels, all stating that we do in fact reincarnate, that life does not begin at the moment of conception, that there are different chakras to the body. Chakras? That you can reincarnate as a man or a woman or to a different species or to a different race. And therefore, factually, you guys are wrong according to the Ascended Masters and Archangels and myself, who remembers being a ray of light from before birth. That's fascinating, man. So, That's fascinating. And I have the ability to ever so, like, say something in such a way so as to be misjudged, so as to prove the existence of Christ consciousness later on. By collecting all the evidence and the receipts, etc., and then coming back around and saying you guys are wrong. You have receipts? <laughs> Where are the receipts at? Evidence, et cetera. Okay, wow. I've been collecting. This traffic upon never evidence stops. Upon evidence upon evidence. This traffic to never stops. To show ends. you guys what you guys are doing is morally wrong, misjudging these women over here. Oh, I'm not standing out in front of clinics messing with people at all. I'm just, you know, I, I, I believe in dialogue and exchange of ideas. I denounce their tactics like entirely. I, I don't think that's persuasive. I think it is harassment. I think it is pretty immoral. Um, you know, and it's presumptuous. Like I was saying, they're not necessarily going in there to get an abortion in the first place. So why do you got to assume shit, right? right. So when is this traffic going to end? <laughs> Holy crap, dude. It's just a constant deluge of cars. Yeah, peace, bro.